Good afternoon and welcome back to our lap book junk journal project that we have going on. Today I am going to work in my journal. This is what we have so far and I have chosen the page to do that I uh, want to start with is one with an envelope. Let me see here. It's right here somewhere. It has an, there we go. I think I had showed you this last time we were together that I wanted to do this little flap of an envelope. So I also told you that I wanted to draw a sunflower because I want to put things in this journal that um, remind me of who I am or who I have been, how I got to where I am so far. Um, so <clears throat> this is my sunflower and it's my half moon sunflower and I'm going to attach it to this flap. So I'm going to turn the camera around so we can see what we're doing and we're going to get this page finished. All right, so this was made out of mixed media paper and I just drew my sunflower and then I watercolored it. And then after I do my watercolors on my flowers, I like to go back in with colored pencil. And so I went back in with colored pencils and highlighted everything and got the shading where I wanted it. And now I'm going to attach it to this flap. But before I do that, I want to cover the back of this because that's not so pretty or interesting or it, we have to fix it. Let's just put it that way. So I'm going to take some glue and this um, page out of a um, dictionary and I'm just going to glue this together. And I just, for, for this, I I'm, I'm, think glue stick will hold quite well. So I'll just cover my whole back of my sunflower with some YooHoo glue stick is my favorite glue stick. It always has been. Um, we used to make cards and uh, it, I found it to be the best glue stick out there. Um, tried many other ones, but personal preference, guys, just personal preference. So I've glued the back and then I'm just going to Lay this onto the book page and smooth it all out. Make sure it's all nice on there. Let's get my bone folder out if I can find it. Here we go. Let's see if there's any air bubbles and work those out if there are. Okay. And then I'll just cut around this see that the edges are not on there very well so we're going to add a little bit more glue to the edges get them all nicely glued on there those edges don't want to stick at all there we go little pointy things Well, maybe I was wrong on moosing this. Maybe I needed to use some liquid glue, but we're gonna see if we can't just make it work now that we've gone this far with it. I've been working on the cover, the fabric cover, and trying to get some ideas. And oh, I didn't mean to rip that. Trying to get some ideas of how I want to go about it. And I think I was thinking about it too much yesterday because it kept me up last night. I couldn't get any sleep. All I could think about was that silly cover. So I decided today I was going to work in the journal. It may be a little less stressful to work in the journal than on that cover right now. So we'll just cut this out here. I think my thing is I, I want to have a hole on the top that can peek through um, and maybe have a picture of me on the cover um, 
I'm not really very good about putting pictures of myself anywhere, but um, I think for a Who Am I journal, probably it would be appropriate. Uh, so I think that's my, my hold up is that I really, um, there's many ways that I can put a hole and I'm trying to think of the way that I really want to do it. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure. <laughs> so that's, that's, I think, what kept me awake last night was trying to think about, okay, which, which technique do you want to use? I don't know if you guys have that problem making decisions sometimes. Sometimes that's the worst part about the whole thing is trying to make a decision. There's so many things that you can do with these journals. And um, yeah, it's like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? So I think I'll probably end up having a lot of flowers in, in the journal itself. Um, that's also part of who I am is I, I like to garden. I like flowers. So I'll probably be drawing quite a few flowers and putting them in here and there. I also want to do things that I haven't been doing. I've kind of been in a rut. I don't know, guys. Do you ever get in a rut? I've been in a rut where I've been doing the same thing over and over and over again. So I want to change it up and I want to do some different things. Um, maybe I'll have to start snooping around and on YouTube and look at some ideas that y'all have and maybe maybe lift them and, and change them into my own ideas and and go from there. So there we have it. We are glued down, although this one isn't trimmed, trimmed close enough. There, I don't want to see the book page from from this side, from this side of the flower. So There. Now I think we'll quickly go over that with some Distress ink. We won't see all of this. We'll, we'll see the envelope flap, flap laying over top of this. But because I don't know exactly where it's going to lay, I'm just going to do the whole thing. Because I can, right? Because I can. So when you get in a rut, what do you guys do? Do you do you go to YouTube? Do you go to Pinterest? Maybe Pinterest. Um, a lot of times for me, just taking a walk, just taking a walk. It kind of clears my head and and helps me think again. Um, there's so much on Pinterest that it kind of blows my mind sometimes. Uh, I'm better off, I think, on going to YouTube for me. Although there's a lot on YouTube too, but. I can get lost in Pinterest for days and not come up for air, I think. Okay, so there we have it. It's all inked up. I had inked up my side of my envelope beforehand. And then I'm going to take the envelope and I'm just going to glue it on the three sides. Because, who knows, we might want to use a pocket out of this, right? Okay, so I'm going to take and I'm going to use some of my Barely Art glue for this. And I'm going to go right up this side, this two short sides, and then um, the long side that's next to the um, center of the book. Well, I think this is how we started last time, guys, was with a clogged glue bottle, right? And they had to take time for me to unclog it. And that's the way we're starting this time. These tiny little nozzles, they get um, clogged up really easy. They're very handy to have, though, except for when they get clogged up. There we go. I think we're flowing now. Okay. So then I'll get my flower in there just right. And then I'll press my envelope flap over top of that. Press it nice and firmly to make sure it's all secure. Just like that. Now I have cut a piece of 
this paper that I used on my um, lap book cover that was from Calico Collage. Uh, no, this, I'm sorry, that's a misquote. It's not from Calico Collage, Collage. it's from, uh, uh, yeah, if I think a while, I'll come up with it. So anyhow, this is it, and I'm going to glue that down. And I've inked around the edges of that already also. I think there must be a piece. There we go. I was going to say, this isn't working again. There was a piece maybe that we kept clogging up the nozzle. But I think we've worked through it. There we go. So that looks really pretty on the back of our sunflower. Much better than just that plain, plain back. There. I like that. So now we have a pocket that we can add some tags to. But I think rather than tags, I've thought about this, I'd like to make some stationery and tuck inside there. I'd also like to maybe put a little collage or something on this. First, I'm going to do up the stationery, and I have already chosen, I have some of my beet dyed papers, um, and then I have a piece of this printable. And then when I showed you what inspires me and how I got my supplies together, I pulled some of my uh, little snippets that I made from a uh, master board, and I pulled one out that I thought looked pretty with all of this. So what I want to do is I want to cut the pages so that they'll fit inside this little flap here. So I'll just mark with a pencil where I need to be as far as the width. And I'm thinking probably about here. And then I'll just take my, my little painty thing here that I use for tearing paper. It's pretty sharp. Um, this metal, and it's a paint guide um, for trimming, cutting in edges when you're painting. It works great for tearing paper. So I think that's about right. We'll set that aside for another project. And I think I want two pieces of this. And this is some of the beet um, root paper that I dyed that had ripped a little bit in the process and so you just save it aside and use it so it had torn cor corners on it well we'll just tear those off and use them for something else so now we have two pieces of this paper and we have one piece of this paper it's not as wide and that's pretty cool I like that and then I think I'll ink around the edges of all of these and then this is going to be the header for my stationery. And then we'll fold that up. So I'm going to go and I'm going to ink this all up and I'll be back. All right, there we have our pieces of stationery all inked up around the edges, front and back. We have our top one. And I think I'm going to run this over to the sewing machine real quick and add some stitches across here. So I'll be right back. And we're back, and we have it all stitched up. It's looking great, it's all held together. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that little string hanging here. It's part of the cluster. So I like that. I'm trying to decide whether I think that it needs any stamping or anything done. I think I'll hold that thought and and see what I think, I'll think about that. So I wanna fold this nicely so that it fits into our page, our pocket that we had made. So I think I'll fold it in thirds and see how that works. So it looks like this. And we'll take it to our book and we'll put it right down in here Just like that. Now, I mean, that has a nice cluster on there, but I don't know whether I need something more on here or not. Um, what would I put? 
Hmm, maybe just a piece of lace, I think. Let's go see what I can find in my stash. All right, I had some more of this. That this from the snippet that I had added on is the same thing, I think, or close to it, anyhow. Maybe it's not exactly the same thing, but we're just going to take a piece of this, I do believe, if we can get the paper clip off, right? Okay, let's see what we think of this across there. Too much? Too wide, maybe? It really does take away from the paper a lot. I think it's too wide. Let me find something narrower. Right? I found something that's quite a bit narrower. Yes, I like that better. That The other one was just too wide. I actually like the color of this one, if you can see the difference, too. It's, it's more beige than this one is. This is kind of like an off antique white, and this is, this is more of a beige. And I, I think I like that better, too. So let's cut this. And think um, what I'd like to see maybe is like a flower added on to here. So I'm going to glue this down because if I add a flower, I'm just going to add, like add it on a corner or maybe a tag or a ticket. Well, let me get my envelope folder. So I made this out of a stamp collector's book. And if you haven't seen the video for that, I'll link it for you. But there's some stamps we could add. Um, let's see if something will just jump out. There's a little ticket there. Whether that might be too big. We'll take that out and check that out. Um, I don't think I want a photo or any of that. Um, there's something with a sunflower, though. Let's take that out and check that, too. Um, these are all too big. Of course, I could cut them down, couldn't I? No, I don't want that one. I don't want a mushroom. I like mushrooms, but I don't want a mushroom on that page. Well, we have sunflowers here. Hmm. Okay, guys, maybe we have. There's a sunflower there and there. All right, let's see what these do for us. They're pretty bright, but we can tone them down a bit, right? If I put that across there. Let's see what we pulled out. We pulled out a tag, a ticket go underneath like that and then we pulled out these sunflowers I'm not sure about that this is pretty bright um, this one is not quite oh that one looks better it's not quite so bright put this one over on the edge and tone it down I don't know I just don't know about how the sunflower really looks on this side I'm thinking I don't really care for it on this side. No, so we're going to change our mind on that. We're not going to use the sunflower. The tag, though, the ticket doesn't look too bad. I don't know. It's, it's a little bit big. Hmm. Do I go back to not? No, I, I want the lace. I want the lace for sure. And I think that's all I'm going to do for now because I can't make up my mind. So I'm just going to let it go and think about it, and maybe something will come to mind. So I'm just going to use this glue, put some dots of it on here, and glue this down. I do know I want this lace. That's very pretty on there. Sometime I'll be looking at something and it'll say, oh, do you remember when you were working on that project? Let's go put this there. So there we have it, guys. That's one page done in our journal. So when I um, start using this as my journal, which will probably be when the project's done, then I'll go through and, and use it 
write some things. I'll probably write on this one some about the Sunflower House shop that I used to have and some of my memories from that. And that's what I'll write on the stationery that I made here. It would be nice if I even had a picture of my Sunflower House. Maybe that's what I'll look and see if I have a picture of my shop and put that on here or tuck it down inside here even. So that's our first page, guys. I hope you enjoyed the process of this um, sunflower page, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. You have a great day. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and um, I'll get those uh, that video posted. Bye.